I knew my parents loved me, but they were never around. They were always working. And, uh, there was eight of us, and how do you support eight eight kids in in you know in a family in Australia? You have to work, and there was only two of them, so they both had to go to work. And my sisters and stuff, they were there, but but I was looking for I was actually looking for brothers. I was looking for I, I think I was looking for a sense of belonging. And being in a going out and hanging out with the boys actually gave me that feeling. If you ask me now how I felt about that, I'd probably say I'd rather be on my own. But yeah, that was how I felt back then. The, the only problem was hanging around the boys, you'd also hang around the drugs and eventually you'd have to sell the drugs in order to hang around the boys. When I sat out here dealing, what I used to do in this spot, I'll be honest with you, it felt kind of cool. I felt like I was just like everybody else, because everybody else was doing it, so I thought I was kind of cool, so I tried to hustle and sell as much as I could. When I first started selling, or selling for someone else, coming out here, I used to sit here in my school uniform. Uh, I went to Catholic school. So you can imagine me wearing a tie and a blazer and, you know, Catholic school uniform. We were all messed up, having showered, dirty. Everyone else was like me. I was the cleanest one because I had school uniform on. But everyone else was just all raggedy and stuff, waiting out here with their drugs, ready to sell. We all thought that that was the right way to go. If you want to get, if you want to be something, then you go sell some drugs, get some money, and then later on you can stop selling drugs and you still have, the, you still have that. But you, People didn't realize. Uh, well, back then we didn't realize that you sell the drugs, you, you will, you will get on the drugs, <laughs> and uh, that was the biggest downfall for everybody. <laughs>